Hey boys and girls, and welcome to tonight's flip video. I'm actually recording this while you're working on your Ross opportunities. So, this first one says Mr. B spent $7.98 on a book which had $0.89 cents tax. He paid with $15. What was his charge? So there's a couple things we need to identify. We've got right here, right here, and right here we've got these numbers. So the book itself cost $7.98, or $7.98. But I had an 87 cent tax. So the total cost, we would have to add that up. So if we add that up, 8 plus 7 is 5. Then you carry it. And that would give you 18. You carry it. So the book and the tax together cost $8.85. But what I did was I paid with $15. With $15, you would represent that as 15 point zero zero, subtracting that from 8 dollars and 85 cents then you go to subtract that now you can't take zero from five so that's not possible so when you go next door he's got nothing to exchange from that place value then you come next door and he does so he becomes a four and now that becomes a ten now that actually becomes a nine because you need to then transfer it over one more time and that ends up becoming a ten so ten minus five is five 9 minus 8 is 1. Drop down my decimal point. Then I've really got 14 here. 14 minus 8 is 6. So I had $6.15 left over. Now the other one I want to review is adding and subtracting fractions. So for adding and subtracting fractions, we've got to find the sum of 1 third and 2 fifths. Sum means to be adding. So we need to find our least common multiple, which is 3 and 5. To find our least common multiple, we just simply multiply. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now we look for matches. They've got a 30 in common. So we're going to make this whole thing equal 15. Now we do 1 third times something equals something over 15. 3 times what gives us 15? Five, whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. So five fifteenths. Now we have two fifths times something equals something over fifteen. Five times what? Five times three gives us fifteen. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Two times three is six. Six fifteenths. Adding those together, eleven fifteenths. Be your final answer. To bring back to school problems, you have to find the sum of 6.8 and 3.987, and then also find the difference of 8 tenths and 1 half. So I'll see you in the morning.